Using a light bulb and magnet, we can show the relationship between electricity and magnetism in a very unusual way. Hans Christian Orsted supposedly found that electric current affected his compasses, and your students can discover this with a light bulb and a magnet. The electricity and magnetism bulb demo uses a special Victorian bulb with a floppy or movable filament. Conventional light bulbs will not work for this demonstration since their filaments are supported and secured within the bulb itself. The box that it's mounted to is able to switch from DC to AC current just by the movement of this switch. First, Show the students that an unlit bulb filament is not affected by the presence of a strong magnetic field. As you bring the neodymium magnet toward the filaments, you will notice the filaments do not move. This goes to show that the filaments are non-ferromagnetic, that is, they are not attracted to any magnetic fields. This is a very important step. Next, tell your students that you are going to turn the bulb on with the filaments lit in DC direct current, the current moving in one direction. Your students should remember from their magnetism studies that when electricity travels, that is, electrons flow through the wire, they produce a magnetic field. Since the magnetic field is produced by the direct current, the magnetic field formed will be a circular arrangement perpendicular to the wire in one direction. Explain to the students that you will now bring the neodymium magnet close to the bulb and its filament. They will notice the filament bending in one direction. Switch the poles by turning the magnet around and see and notice the filaments bending in the other direction. This is a great example of the motor principle or sometimes referred to as the third right hand rule of magnetism. Now that your students have seen that, Ask them what will happen if you switch to AC current, that is, alternating current. By switching to AC, the current will travel in both directions 60 times per second due to the 60 hertz current produced in the United States. They will see no difference in the brightness of the bulb, but they should know the current is switching direction, therefore, the magnetic field has to be switching direction 60 times per second as well. So, what is going to happen when we bring the strong magnet near the filament? Once they see this, they will be amazed. Since the magnetic field is also switching 60 times a second, bringing another magnet nearby causes the filament to deflect wildly back and forth. The bulb's filament shows very vividly what we call the motor principle. This is a great way to show the relationship between electricity and magnetism using this demo.